All right, we're gonna do some let's play with WCW Revenge for the Nintendo 64. Yes. Look at this intro. Actually, it's too long, we're gonna skip it, but we are going to take the journey I'm sorry, it's on easy. We're gonna go championship. And let's take a look at my current champions. We got a pretty good lineup here, but let's go after Hogan's World Heavyweight Champion Championship. I like how it lets you pick which one. Um, let's do Nitro. It just looks great. And kind of torn here. I kind of want to kind of want to kind of want to give it to someone unexpected. But I think I'm going to pick Nash. And we're just going to do it to it. I really wish they had real entrance themes here. I mean, I like what they have. It's cool. It's what I grew up knowing. But if they had like a little MIDI version of the Wolfpack theme, that'd be great. All right, first match, we're gonna take on the Giant. I don't know if you guys remember when Nash and the Giant feuded for who was, who was the real WCW Giant? Who was the Giant of WCW? Those, those matches were actually hilarious. The, I think it was Super Brawl, possibly, um, where they uh, Nash had that bat, uh, botched power bomb on on Giant, and um, dude, that thing was ugly. I, the storyline was he broke his neck. I thought he, I seriously thought his neck was broken. I didn't know that was a storyline. He came down hard. And then they they banned the uh, they banned the jackknife power bomb. And he was going to be fined or suspended if he used it. Come on, giant! Fight back, dude! Fight back, dude! When's the last time you saw Nash do like a, a running, jumping kick? Check this out. Oh. I forgot they often do the little block. The moves were definitely, for the most part, realistic here. There are probably a few moves that are a little bit awkward. And to be honest, this isn't very challenging. I probably could have put it on. What are you doing, Giant? Come on. I probably could have uh, put it on at least medium difficulty, but um, I don't, maybe I'm getting old or something, but these games are getting harder for me. I don't know what's going on. I'm not the great. I've never... I never Never claim to be the greatest at video games. Definitely not, like, amazing at video games. I just enjoy video games. But, um, I definitely was better when I was playing them a lot more frequently. Now I'm pretty much just... Honestly, these Let's Plays are probably the first time I've 
had a chance in a long time to just sit back and play these games. Usually I'm on some kind of agenda making a review. Uh-oh. It just got real. It just got real. Former best friends. Oh, look at that. But yeah, I like uh, I like doing these. Hopefully, you guys like these because uh, I get to just play games. You know, it's something I'm, I don't normally don't get to do because when I'm reviewing games, I'm looking for specific footage and specific uh, situations. And yeah, that's right, Hall. Get out of here. Oh, I better I better activate this special. One thing I remember about this game is. Finishers don't always do it. Sometimes they get right up. Sometimes you hit them with a finisher, they just no-sell it. All right, let's do it. Ah, oh, he's right there. I should have dragged him. Dang it. Let's see if I can get one more. Do it. Jackknife that giant. And I forgot how to, so I'm just going to pin him. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. See what I mean? Two jackknives kicked out. It's all right, though. Sleeper. Go to sleep, big man. Break. Oh. You got one on me. This is definitely uh, this is definitely one of those games that just extremely entertaining. All of them really. Um, I love World Tour, and don't get me wrong, that's great. But I feel like here, the amount of options and just the controllability of everything is a little bit better. But all of these. THQ Nintendo 64 games. These are just great. I, I can understand some people don't like them. I, I still get a little surprised when some people say they hate them. I don't hear that too often. But I mean, to each his own, you know what I mean? I I, a lot of people think I don't like the first couple SmackDown games. Um, I actually really enjoy them. I thought that was a 10 count. Since when is the out of ring count 20? Was that a thing? I'm going to go cheap here. I'm going to out of ring him. Hopefully it doesn't backfire on me. Oh, okay, okay. You better get in the ring. Oh, he's going to make it. Look how slow this count is at the end. You punk. Anyway, I very much enjoy the first SmackDown games. They just were so much different than these games which I played so much and the 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 I like the Smackdown games There's just some goofy goofy stuff to them like the um how the wrestlers like rolling around the ring you know it's very fast paced it's fun though I'm not going to lie they're fun they're just they're very far from realistic I don't know if I really am looking for realistic but I don't know. I can't explain it. I don't hate SmackDown 2. Maybe I was a little maybe I was a little harsh on it, but I, I definitely don't hate SmackDown 2. I like SmackDown 2 a lot. I played it a lot. I played all of them a lot. I like all wrestling games. Believe it or not, I even liked uh I even liked uh like WCW Nitro and Thunder when they when they were out. I didn't know any better. I was playing WCW games. I was happy. <clears throat> well, I kind of knew they were bad games, but I didn't really care. Now, I don't don't really play them too often, but <clears throat> I don't know why I'm not even like going for any kind of pin here. I'm just I guess I wanted to get another special in on him. And really, I think Hall could leave now. He's not providing any kind of support here for his buddy. That's all right. 
I'll do this power bomb right in front of him, show him what he's got going if he messes with me again. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. We got it. We got it. He's in danger. Boom. First match down. Giant's head just hella twitched, but that's all right. And I said hella, which I think is a California thing. I think people outside of California don't say hella, and they think it's weird. Let me know in the comments section if... if do you have hella where you're from, or is that not a word? That's like uh, that's like a thing in California. It might just be Northern California. I don't know. All right. Look at that. They got the like the MIDI version of the uh, Nitro theme playing here. I love it. Love it, man. See that? I wish they could have gotten some themes in here. Oh, well. Who's next? Luger. Okay. So, before, I had to face an NWO white guy. And he was a white guy. Now I got to face an NWO red guy. Yeah, his skin tone was a little red in real life. He was tanning a lot. Actually, he was kind of kind of orange. Him and Hogan had like that orange skin tone there for a while. Looked kind of radioactive. All right. Come on, Luger. Come on, Lex Luger. Oh. What the hell's... He's bleeding already? What the hell did I do to him? I didn't even notice that. How the hell did I make him bleed? That's bizarre. Man, vicious clothesline. I don't know what it... I, I don't know what Luger's deal was as far as... Me as a fan. I never took to Luger... I did when I was a kid. When he was in WWF 94-ish and he had the body slammed Yokozuna and then he's coming out with the red, white, and blue and he was like, you know, the good guy and I thought he was kind of cool. And then um, he disappeared. I started watching WCW and I just didn't really care anymore. He had a killer mullet though. Uh, most of the guys did back then, but... Hall had, uh, Scott Hall had like the, um, he had like the undercover mullet, you know, he used to comb it back, so it slicked back, it just looked like regular hair, and then by the time the match would start, he'd get a little underway, it'd start to dry a little bit, by the end of the match, he had like the long hair in the back and a little bit of poof on top, it's the undercover mullet, man, <clears throat> but Luger's, dude, that thing was like hairsprayed and teased, man. Who had the best wrestling mullet? That's probably a that's probably a good topic to discuss. There's a lot of guys that had one two three had a one two three kid had a pretty uh, <clears throat> cra crazy mullet at one point. Ah. <sighs> Superpower. I'd like to see Nash do that. I don't know if that's an accurate move. If he's ever done that and you've seen that, let me know when and where he did that. I'd like to see that. Super power bomb off the turnbuckle like that. <clears throat> All right, Luger. You're my wolf pack buddy. But I got to jackknife you. I always thought it was funny, like, these guys coming out to rap music. I was like 14 during that, 13, 14 years old. Rap was real big at the time. Late 90s. And here comes, like, Conan. That made sense. Nash, even a little bit, you know, he was kind of cool. He had the, you know, he wore the bandanas and 
he had the lingo and stuff like that here and there. He was kind of cool, but like Luger and Sting. And then for a while, Kurt Hennig was in the Wolf Pack. Country Boy coming out to rap. And then later he did the rap is crap thing. It's like, wait, you came out to the Wolf Pack theme a year ago. And it, what's this rap is crap stuff? But, yeah, I don't know. That was kind of goofy. Who else was... Macho, <laughs> Macho Man, I don't know. Macho Man, I think, could come out to anything and it would work. That dude was just, he was just so badass. It was kind of funny, him coming out to rap, but... Um, uh, what are you going to do? I think that's what... I think that's what Nash wanted. I don't know who picked the music for WCW. I know for... For WWE, it's I don't think the wrestlers get much choice unless you've got a lot of pull around there. Like I know it was CM Punk's choice to have cult of personality, but um, I, a lot of guys in they're just given themes uh, in WWE. Oh, right in the nuts, man! Come on, come on, Luger. But yeah, I wonder if. The, I forgot Nash. Nash cannot uh, cannot do any turnbuckle moves here. He'll just taunt. I feel like I keep doing the same five moves over and over again. I find myself focusing too much on what I'm talking about, and then. Then again, you know, it's kind of realistic. I did pick Nash, so. I love, don't get me wrong, I love Nash, but. I know people says he has three or five moves, and he'll even tell you he doesn't have a whole lot of moves. But he makes them look good. He makes them look good. Big boot! I used to, oh man, I used to pick Nash for the, uh, for the, Battle Royal, the 30 man Battle Royal. And I used to um, just constantly big boot people until they flip over the top rope. My friends would get so pissed off. Boom. Another one bites the dust. Nash wins. You get that Nitro theme, get a little replay. I like how the old uh, games like this had the texture mapped faces. So you, Luger's got permanent smile on his face right now as he's getting uh, power bombed. You crack me up. Goldberg always looked like he's taking a dump. Who else? Other there was some a few other people that were like permanent smiling and I don't remember. Some people just look weird too. Roddy Piper looked kind of weird in this game. Didn't really look like him. They're putting me up against Reese. I think I just... At this point... And I can't remember because, again, I, it's been a long time since I really played through the game, but it appears that I'm just fighting one person from, uh, from, from each uh, faction in the game. Which, if that's the case, they're going to make me fight a cruiserweight? Or... I don't know. We'll see. We'll keep it moving. I always like doing this. Boom! They go flying against the guardrail. Little things like that just made this game great. That was one thing. Again, I'm not going to hate on SmackDown. I love SmackDown. But it used to confuse me why I couldn't fight on like the apron. You know? that That's what I liked about this game. Is being able to throw people out on the apron. And then you could... Um, like run their head into the Let's see if I can pull it off here see I like doing that that was that so was a cool look come on get up here dude ah knew that was gonna happen
I like how they even included the the uh, pads, the pads on the uh, ground there that have the the flames on them. That was always a cool look. To ooh, that dude hit that ring post. He hit it good. I'm gonna do one of those super power bombs. I will admit though, man, some of these textures are bad looking. Like the fan signs, the the fan made signs that they're holding. Or those pads I just talked about. They're pretty bad. Even the turnbuckle pads, they're just like triangles. <laughs> they're pretty they're pretty poor looking. But again, this is never this series of games has never been known for like great graphics or anything like that. It's good gameplay, you know? I just I just noticed I'm I'm fighting the Yeti. It's Nash versus the Yeti. The Yeti! And here comes Brian Adams, who played the Kiss Demon. Dude, we got like ultimate gimmick match here. We got Nash who played Vinny Vegas and Oz and Diesel. He's like the king of gimmicks. You got Brian Adams here who played was it was he Crush? I think it was Crush. He was the Kiss Demon for like three days. You got Reese, who God knows how many different. I know he was the Yeti. I know I, he had to have been something else. These big guys like this, they throw them in so many gimmicks, man. They'll just throw a costume on them and, all right, go out there. All right, I'm gonna do that thing I was talking about. This thing. Bam! Always love doing that. See, now I kind of screwed myself because I'm going to get a special and he's just going to... Come on, come get in here. Get in here. See, he's playing with me. You see that? He knows I've got a special. See, that's the AI here is pretty... See, he's not going to get in the ring. Dude, how jacked up. All right, here we go. I'm going to do the... Uh... I'm going to do the old sidewalk. Bam! I always like that one. See, that's another. Nash made that look good. His little signature sidewalk slam there. That was a good looking move. Come on, Reese. I remember on um, WCW Thunder PlayStation. Again, bad game, but when you taunt certain certain wrestlers had taunts that like um, triggered fan reactions. And Reese was one. Reese was one of them. Um, and when you would taunt with Reese, somebody in the crowd, like in this awkward voice, would go, "Reese." And I used to just do it over and over again, just to piss off my friends. They'd be like, "Stop! That's annoying." Or um, if you were Scott Hall, you'd hear someone in the crowd go, "Chico." That kind of stuff cracked me up. I used to abuse that kind of crap. Just to bother people. I always thought that kind of stuff was funny. They're like, what's so funny about that? I don't know. I guess I'm just weird. I'm not meaning to move him, but I'm moving him. It's a funny looking sleeper. He looks like the hunchback of Notre Dame right there. Like awkward positioning. Oh, come on, Reese. Come on, Reese's Pieces. Reese Cup. I never liked when guys uh, did, like, the d generic wrestling gear. Like, Reese here with his tank top and shorts. Billy Kidman did that. A couple guys did that. Um... Dean Ambrose does that. I'm not a fan of... Uh, I'll probably get a lot of hate for this. I'm not a fan of Dean, Dean Ambrose uh, to begin with, but uh, I don't like his ring gear. I guess he's just supposed to be like the hardcore guy or something like that. I don't know. I don't get it. I get it with John Cena because, you know, he kind of started off with, like, the thug character. I, I thought the shield, look, the shield looked cool when they first... When they debuted and they had that... You know, they were kind of different. 
they had that, uh, they all wore that gear that all kind of looked the same, but that was cool. I like that. And I like, uh, I like where Seth Rollins went with his gear. That's, that's cool. Um, Roman Reigns just kind of kept the same a little bit. Just kind of modified it a little bit. All right, you're done, Reese. You're done, son. You can't hang with the real monster. I love it. All right. Let's see what happens next. There we go. See, that doesn't look like Rowdy Piper to me. That looks goofy. He's kind of chunky looking, too, in this game. Was he chunky? I don't remember him being chunky like that. I know he wasn't... By the time he was in WCW, he was a little flabby. He wasn't in his best shape, but... I don't know. There's also not... there's For this game, there's not a lot of... Um, different body types there's only a few kind of generic body types for the game there's not a lot of uniqueness so do you think um in the world of of this game here do you think this all these matches are happening on the same episode of nitro or you think this is just like week after week that'd be a, a pretty grand event huh tonight Nash takes on the giant Lex Luger Reese and Roddy Piper and possibly more every match is Nash versus somebody else ribs broken Piper's gear looks kind of purple. I, maybe that's just my TV. I don't know. I always remember it being blue in the game, but so maybe it is the TV. Playing on an old school CRT, though. You got to do that. Obviously, if you don't have a CRT, uh, you know, the standard... Um, Standard. The uh, the new. I guess they're not even new anymore. A high definition TV works. A widescreen high definition TV works, but it distorts the image because uh, these games have to be stretched in order to uh, fit the screen, and I just it bothers the hell out of me. I can't even I can't even play the games like that. So. Um, I have a two TV setup in here. I have a every match ha interception. Why in the hell would Eric Bischoff be helping Roddy Piper? In what world would that happen? That confuses me big time. I like how Bischoff came out like ready to go too. Like he's in his fighting gear. He's got his gloves on. His he got his karate pants on. He's ready to go. <laughs> Destroyed, man. I can't believe Pipe when I think it was late ninety six. Piper was in WCW. By the way, he had just been in the WWF. Uh, earlier that year at WrestleMania 12 where he fought um, Goldust in that weird backstage brawl match with the gold Cadillac and it's a cool match but um, a lot of people don't know that was actually supposed to be 
Razor Ramon versus Goldust for that uh, in that match. I don't remember what happened. Something happened. But I remember Razor Ramon being advertised and everything. He's even in like the um, like the print ads for it. And they had like you know the logo for the show and then everybody's faces and his face was one of them and he didn't end up having that match with him it ended up being Roddy Piper versus Gold Dust I forgot what happened but um yeah I remember Piper wrestling Hogan I want to say it was Starcade 96 and then again Super Brawl 97 maybe. But I just remember Piper was beat up. Like he could he's having a hard time walking. He had like a bad hip or something like that and I was thinking, man, he must really need the money and WCW must really want to capitalize on a feud that Oops, I didn't mean to do that. A feud that um Vince created years earlier. I wasn't much into that feud. I don't know. Oh, see? That's a no-sell if I've ever seen one. He gets up just to be groggy, and then he does it again. He's just going to get up and be groggy. Just put him in a sleeper. I'll put him in a sleeper. Headbutt. You know, I always thought it was kind of weird that Nash has, like, uh, really dark hair in this game. Because, uh... This game came out in late 98, which means they probably started developing it in late 97, which, in late 97, to be fair, he did have dark hair still. But by the time, in, like, early 98, right around the time they formed the Wolf Pack, um, he started dyeing his hair blonde. So surprised, like it seemed like it would be, it would be like something easy to fix. Or, dude, this guy is no selling everything. Come on, Piper. But um, they decided to to run with the dark hair, I guess. It's weird because they. Come to think of it, they they were they changed Scott Steiner because when they started to well, I guess it depends on on really when they started working on who. Nash could have been one of the first people they that they actually worked on and Stein. But there there are two versions of Scott Steiner. You can be, you know, long dark haired Scott Steiner, Steiner Brothers Scott Steiner, or you can be Big Papa Pump Scott Steiner, so Dude, he's gaining some momentum on some momentum on me, man. Look at this. Come on, just tap. Yes. See? That's what you get. We're in my AJ Styles shirt. Elimination Chamber tonight. There's so many pay-per-views going on that some of them are just a few weeks apart. Like we just had the Rumble. It just felt, it felt like we just did the Rumble and now we've got Elimination Chamber tonight. So there's got to be more. I haven't checked, but there's got to be more than two pay-per-views going on. Or, or there's got to be more than 12 pay-per-views a year right now oh before I forget too somebody commented on the let's play for here comes the pain and asked me if actually I don't know if it was on that video I think that was the problem I wasn't able to find a comment I wanted to reply to it but somebody asked me if it bothered me how WWE um, does like the camera bouncing up and down when they 
when someone's throw, like throwing a punch now and yeah it does bother me actually it's very goofy looking it's just like i remember when they first damn pump handle me dude um i remember when they dude rick steiner's killing it uh when they first went to hd in 2008 they started doing a few things i remember wwe was super hesitant to go to hd because they were worried that it was going to expose the business even more and it's like come on who doesn't know by now who doesn't know what's going on in wrestling we all know we know, you know, but they want to make it as realistic as possible. They're thinking if it's in HD, um, people might see, you know, that some hits aren't connecting, whatever. But um, as soon as it did go in HD, they started... Um, they started doing, the like, the zoom in, zoom out real quick when when people were striking or certain certain things they'd be like zoom in and then back out and that that already bothered me i don't know i i kind of stopped paying attention i don't know if they i probably just got used to it i don't know if they do it anymore but um i think they still do but yeah this new the camera is bouncing up and down like a bobbing head i'm like what the hell is going on so yeah it's it's weird i don't know Stuff like that. I don't know. That's Vince, though. I mean, well, it could not be Vince. It could be somebody else. But it, it, that's the WWE. They're always trying to be innovative. Take it to the next step. I guess you got to applaud them for that, you know. Um, whether you like it or not, they're trying something different. But... I think wrestling is kind of at a, at a point where it's just kind of like stagnant right now. It's just kind of, jeez, that was a hard hit. It's just kind of where it's at, and it. I haven't noticed a lot of change. Let me just put it like this. In the 90s, I was thinking about it the other day. In the 90s, WCW's dominance started in 96 and in 2001 Vince McMahon purchased WCW that's five years that's how much changed in five years in the business you look at WWF in 96 you had the kind of the tail end of the new generation era you know with Bret Hart um, Shawn Michaels Diesel Ramon those guys and then by 2001, look what the company was doing. So you see like how much can really change in the business in five years. And then now look back five years in the current product, right? So that would be beginning of 2012. Yeah, sure, there's a few different people, a few different wrestlers. Um, there's also a lot of the same wrestlers. And there's also a lot of the same stuff going on. A lot of the same gimmicks. So I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't change as fast as it used to. And that's probably due to lack of competition. And it's probably also due to a lot of stuff already being used. You know, a lot of... Come on. I don't think me. I don't think you'll ever get uh, a pinfall off of your first finisher, but I, I think uh, I think it has to do with a lot of things. I don't know how I got there from from what I was talking about, but I thought Nash was going to make another person submit. Man, he's going to be, become a, a submission expert over here. I don't think Nash is. I don't think Nash has ever won a match by submission. You ever seen that? Yeah, I don't know. It's funny. We all complain about what 
wrestling has become, but we all still watch it, right? Well, I guess I guess there are plenty of people that uh, don't watch it anymore. Um, actually, I was talking to a guy at work the other day, and he's got kids that kind of they were probably teenagers during like the Attitude Era, like I was, and and. Um, he said he used to watch it. He said he remember going going uh, to you know episodes of Raw and stuff like that uh, when they came here to town and and he said, man, he goes he goes those characters were just great. Like those people just had like the total package. And he was talking about you know guys like The Rock and Stone Cold and. I don't know, but I guess we all just watch the ones that still do and that don't, and that have a lot of complaints. I guess we just watch to maybe just hope that one day we get that, that glory back, right? It's like an old bad relationship with a wife and you just stay together just because you've been together for so long already and you're just hoping that one day maybe things would get back to where, where they were. Um, I've, I've actually grown to accept the fact that WWE just kind of is what it is. And I just watch it now. Just, I don't know, just to watch something, you know, just got, I've, I don't know. I have been watching it for a long time. I guess that has a lot to do with it. I could just have a hard, I'd have a hard time just completely walking away from it. I've taken little breaks here and there, but uh, of course break. Get up then. Let's do it again. You get another one, buddy. No, do it. All right. Damn, Steiner. Steiner is one tough SOB, though. That's legit. You guys, remember that match? He was mad at Conan for something. And I think it was like an episode of Nitro, either 99 or 2000, somewhere around there. He beat the hell out of uh, Conan in that match. Like legitimately whooped him. Like Conan had a hard time getting back on his feet. And he dazed him quite a bit. But the Steiner brothers have a reputation of doing that. I don't necessarily like the bullying in wrestling, but... I feel like it is kind of necessary, and I don't think we have that anymore. I think like one of the last guys was like JBL. I don't really think we have a lot of guys like that anymore that are that'll go out there and stiff shot you a few times if you've got a, b a bad attitude or you know think you're the best. Maybe we need a few guys like that. I miss the I miss the legitimate tough guys. Of wrestling, like the Vaders and the the Ming or uh, Haku, um, the Steiners, you know. I miss those guys that, I guess Brock Lesnar is one, but there's not a lot left where you're just like, man, he's got a bad reputation. Don't mess with him. Don't even look at him the wrong way. I guess that's what was kind of cool about wrestling of old, too, was you were just like, man, these guys are, this is a scary dude. Don't, you know, don't bother him. You see him in a bar. Buy him a drink. Don't mess with him. All right. What do we got next? We got Wolfpack Sting making his way to the ring. I'm wait. By the way, I'm waiting for the. Hall of Fame showcase for 2K17. I think Wolfpack Sting is in there. It says Bret Hart versus Sting from their match at um, Halloween Havoc 98. Is that right? Anyway, I think it's it's Wolfpack Sting. I don't know why I care. I guess you could just... Um, Go in there and 
change it to red. Well, I don't know. Can you edit the face paint? I don't know. I got to go back and check. I haven't played 2K17 as much as I'd like to. I played it a lot to kind of get ready for my review of it. And honestly, I haven't played it much uh, since then. I'd like to, though. I'd really like to play it. Maybe I'll do uh, a Let's Play on that because I'd really like to play some more of that game. A lot of my time I spend when I did go back and play it a little bit. See, I only get like my personal, personal time to actually sit down at the end of the day and play some. I might get like a half an hour. I mean, what am I supposed to do in a half an hour, you know? So, um, a lot of times when I'd have a half hour to jump on there, I would just uh, kind of cruise around looking at created wrestlers and um, arenas in the, in the uh, community creations and download something. I kind of miss Showcase. I know some people don't like it. I like Showcase. I thought it was fun. I, I like the the recreation stuff. I always thought that was really cool. But I also like the old story modes that we saw in the SmackDown games and the like No Mercy and stuff like that where you're actually going through and playing something unique but I like it when it's regardless I like it when it's heavily story influenced I like that heavy emphasis on story mode with lots I think Raw t I think it was Raw 2 had a pretty if I'm remembering correctly had a pretty badass story mode That was a cool game. I, pl I played a lot of Raw 2 with friends. The uh, the fact that you can edit so much and the like create an entrance mode was crazy and had so many features and back then I think that was either the first or one of the first games with uh, custom soundtracks for the entrance music because it was on the original Xbox which had the hard drive. That was cool, man. That Raw 2 was was fun, man. And you could create some like off the wall stuff. I remember you could just make people like really big where they would just like dominate size-wise. You could make like overly large wrestlers and like overly small like guys that like barely their head barely reaches like the middle rope. That game had some cool stuff. You know me and my uh, created wrestlers. I like that. I like that weird stuff. I like them weird. I like them glitching and twitching and all kinds of stuff. There's a lot of Wolfpack on Wolfpack crime in this. It's alright. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. And I definitely, uh, I definitely should have gone on, a, uh, gone with a harder difficulty here. This is probably extremely boring to watch. I'm just like dominating everybody here. It's actually almost pointless. But I've already committed to it. You know what am I supposed to do? He's now received like four specials. Bam. He's trying to kick me from outside of the ring. Interesting. Interesting, Sting. Interesting. I like the little detail. I never noticed before. You can actually see, like, uh... There's something on Sting's gloves, like riding or something. I think that's what it is. I don't know if it's that or just like a bad effect of like a, like a bad 
leather shiny effect. I don't think it is. I think it is writing or something like that. Poor Sting, man. Sting got absolutely screwed in the WWE. He waits years to get to the WWE. Holds out for years. Comes in by the time he's, I mean, you know, past, way past his prime. And goes out the way he did. That sucks. And I'm still pissed that there was no Sting versus Taker. I don't know why Vince constantly feels the need to punish, tease and punish old WCW fans by bringing, but, but he's a sucker for Goldberg. I mean, look at Goldberg coming in and it's like, well, you treat Sting like that? He gets a... Sting gets a match at, at WrestleMania versus Triple H that, of course, he loses. Everybody knew he was going to lose that. They weren't going to put over Sting versus, you know, Triple H. Um, and I like Triple H, don't get me wrong, but come on, man, you know? Um, I don't know. I just, I didn't, I wasn't feeling it. But they'll, they'll bring in Goldberg and beat um, Brock Lesnar in, you know, 60 seconds. And just be a be a be a be a be beast, a dominant beast. But whatever. Vince holds grudges. Everybody knows that. D D P. Go get some pyro. Bang. Stomp his foot. Yeah, that's right. Stomp my goddamn foot. Runs to the ring. Does a little taunt. I love it. All right. Next game that I do. Ooh. Busted them open already. Next game I do. I won't do on easy. All right, guys. I'm sorry. You saw how bad I got my ass kicked, and here comes the pain. Well, for a while. At the beginning. It was that stupid weight detection stuff, and then it was me being, getting older. I don't know. But um, here, easy is, is a little, little too easy. I do wish they would uh, switch up the venue here a bit. You actually pick which venue you want, which is cool, but maybe maybe don't make me commit to the one venue for every match. You know, maybe give me a selection, uh, an an option to select different ones between, but. Not a big deal. Just visually, it's just very repetitive, but that's all right. That's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I love that. I should have picked someone with a faster taunt. Nash has that really slow taunt. Goldberg has like that really fast taunt. But to be fair, I believe the game rewards the uh, slower taunts with more. Oh! Diamond Cutter! That's a weird looking diamond cutter. It doesn't look like the one that he uses in the game. That's really weird. That's the same one from um, World Tour. That's not even the same one that he... That's bizarre. I've never seen that happen before. Usually when you steal someone's move, you get the exact one that they use. 
But when I stole his diamond cutter, it gave me the one that he had in World Tour, which is not the same version that they used here. Weird. Very strange. Ooh, pile driver. I missed the pile driver. I missed the power bomb, man. You never see power bombs anymore. You never see pile. I know pile driver was banned for good reason. I guess they're both pretty dangerous. One broke someone's neck, and one uh, one paralyzed a guy for life. So probably a a good idea not to use them. But uh, I feel like there's other moves just as dangerous that they still use. I guess it just takes one person to ruin it for everybody, right? They'd probably outlaw a knife knife edge knife edge chop if it gave someone a heart attack or stopped their heart, right? DDP D D P All right. Oh no. Here he comes. Would have been cool to see entrance attire here. That's something that they were able to do in uh, the WWF versions was have entrance attire. I'd love to see Scott Hall's vest or even a, you know, an NWO shirt or something. Anything would be cool. I, I love the fact that you can um, edit attires and stuff like that. It gives you the option to mess with color schemes. and Oh, damn. Fall away slam already. That's probably the best animated fall away slam. Probably not ever. I'm sure the newer games... I'd have to compare. I'd have to see them side by side, but... I just remember when this game first came out, seeing that fall away slam, I remember thinking, dude, that looks just like Hall's fall away slam. Like the, the, you know, he gets, he gets him up there. He kind of holds him there for a second. Thought that was a good, good job. They did good job. About to get him one of those super power bombs. The super power bomb that I've never seen Nash do. I still can't believe, looking back sometimes, I still can't believe the roster that WCW had. Like, absolutely incredible. Even like um, some of the guys that maybe weren't big then but would become bigger stars later like Jericho, Eddie Guerrero, Chris Benoit, Rey Mysterio. Looking there, you're just like, dude, they were stacked. Like, they, they were loaded, man. You had guys in their prime like uh, Hall and Nash. You had Hall and Oates. guys way past their prime like um well maybe not way past their prime probably just past their prime like flair and hogan they still had some to give guys that were uh crumbling like Ro roddy piper Let's give him a little... What the... No. I just wasted... I wasted some of my special time on that. I was trying to give him an outsider's edge. Am 
Might have to hit it again. Guillotine. I just realized I uh, earlier talked about um, Elimination Chamber tonight. The thing is, I, I record these videos, you know, at least a... Um, you know, at least a week, maybe a few weeks before they actually drop. So, um, to be clear, eliminate. You know, obviously, elimination chamber is tonight here. While the day I'm recording this video, not the day it, it's released. So, somebody, somebody will call me out on that. Hey, yo. Get in the ring, Chico. We got a score to settle. And that score is you getting outsider's edge. If it lets me do it this time. Alright. It didn't give me the uh, outsider's edge from World Tour. It actually gave me the real thing. There we go. That's how you do it. That's how it's got to be done sometimes. Up. Oh. oh, it's about to go down. It is about to go down. Here he comes. Look at this. I feel drunk. The screen effect is... It's gone now, but... Look at that. He's got the NWO title. Well, the WCW title spray painted NWO. This is how they should have done it. I always wanted to see like a a a, a real good NWO leader versus NWO leader match, not not the finger poke of doom that we got, but a real match for the title. Leader versus leader. They kind of tippy toed around it though. They did a lot of like Hogan versus Goldberg, and then Nash versus Goldberg, and I remember when they brought. Uh, giant into WCW when they debuted him you know he was like he was like the promotion's answer to like the super heel you know he was going to be like their Andre the Giant um, and that was ni I think it was 95 and th they used him for a while as that like uh, you know a main event guy and then I just remember by this time, I mean, he was doing nothing. He was like tag team champions with Sting, I think. Like, you guys waste the Giant and Sting as tag team champs, you know? When there's like, I mean, I, I get it. I get the storyline was, was supposed to be, was supposed to make it awkward that two different NWO guys that hated each other were tag team champs or... I don't I don't remember if Sting was even in the Wolf Pack yet, but I, I know he wasn't in the I know he definitely wasn't in the NWO black and white. Um and Giant was. Yeah, I don't think he was Wolf Pack yet because come to think of it. I don't know. I'm thinking too hard right now and, and that's gonna be bad. Might see smoke coming out of my ears and stuff like that. Give him that foot. You give him that foot. Hogan didn't even bother to take his glasses off or his shirt or anything. He's just like, screw it. I hit him in the face so hard he's busted open. Blew open like a freaking tomato. 
But his glass is looking good. He's got those uh, high quality Ray-Bans on. They're not going anywhere. Nash, I want that, or uh, Hogan, I want that belt. Damn it, I can't finish a taunt. Wow, me getting hit actually caused my uh, spirit meter to go up. That's kind of funny. We'll go, uh, oh, we'll get a little sidewalk slam in there. And then just to switch things up, we'll do a little bit of this. That's kind of goofy, but oh well. I think that's the same finisher they have for Flair if you if you uh, use the front grapple finisher. Hmm. Come on, Hogan. Damn, he just flew out of that ring. I'm surprised I haven't done anything cheap yet. Like, I guess I, I was I was gonna try to win a match uh, from count out, but I did not do so yet. I've been pretty pretty fair. I've been pretty fair. I don't want to win a match by count out. Come on, you. I like how when they're all beat up, they're all hunched over looking. Hogan's like, he's seen better days for sure. He's bloody, hunched over. I noticed we got a lot of um, interference in like the first three matches and then just nothing since then. But I'm thinking since I'm fighting Hogan, I'm probably going to get some interference here. If it's supposed to be realistic, it's supposed to be anything like the real thing. You, we might have like the giant or someone coming down here. Someone's going to have to save him because his days are numbered right about now. This just might do it. This just might do it. Watch out now. Ooh, look at that. Hogan's got some skills over here. Never seen him move that fast. He's not quite orange enough in the game. You guys remember um, Hogan Knows Best? I used to watch that like a reality show on MTV following Hogan and his oh he submitted Nash with another submission anyway it's like the show that ruined their life after that stuff just started going downhill for them but I love that show that show was great it was kind of like um, the Osbournes. It was the same production team and everything. It was like the same thing. And it just kind of followed around his boring life at the time. But it was cool. I mean, you see him wake up and take 5,000 different pills and 14 different shakes and go work out and drive around his cool charger. Just... Enjoy the life, I guess. And watch his kids do whatever it was they did. You imagine being Hulk Hogan's kid? I would have been. 
That would have been the life, man. Being Hulk Hogan's kid. That'd be cool, man. That's kind of a shame his kid never t took up wrestling. Like One of the biggest names in wrestling. All right. Congratulations. Nash has the title. There's no more NWO paint on it. You have won the WCW World Heavyweight Belt with Kevin Nash. I sure did. That's it. It's not much of an ending. But we'll take it. All right. My default for every game is ass. I don't know why. I guess I just like seeing it when you look and you see all the stats and you see ass. It used to be bad when I was like really young so you see the one there that's bad that's me I don't know who any of these other people are I don't know if they're just like presets or what but uh yeah I guess it didn't do too bad I guess that's it right get some credits That's cool. I don't really remember this. Well, I guess that's it. It's a little longer than I expected. It's not even that long in uh, World Tour. To uh, look at that. Whose face was that? You got the little TV out there is bugging out. It's got the, the Aki logo and then what I guess are, are probably some of the uh, production staff or something. But um, yeah, it seemed like it was a little bit long to win one championship, but that's not a bad thing. It's just it's longer than it was in uh, World Tour. But that's it i mean we're done so hopefully you guys enjoyed it and um if you like the video give me a like and uh i'm on twitter and facebook now so check that out as well and uh until next time thanks for watching we'll see you again soon hopefully come on back